Hey everyone, it's time for my October favourites. I feel like I've got some interesting favourites this month. There may or may not be some sex toy related stuff, but then there's also some board games and some picture frames, because this is who I am. First of all, books. I am still getting back into the swing of things with reading. I still feel quite slow, but we're getting there. In October, I read Persepolis. Is that how you pronounce it? Persepoli? Because she's French? The story of a childhood and the story of a return. So this book had both stories in them and it's like a graphic novel comic thing. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna pronounce everything wrong. Um, it's about Marjan Satrapi, who's Iranian and it's about her childhood during the revolution in 1979 and the war and then she moved to Austria to finish her education and then moved back to Iran. And then the second story, she's more of a, a teenager and adolescent and there's a lot more stuff in there about womanhood and sexuality and things like that. And oh my God, I feel like this book was a history lesson for me. There was just so much that I didn't know because my education has failed me. And this kind of information is stuff that as an adult, you have to seek out, which is a real shame. Like we shouldn't know about this stuff. Oh, there's also a film. I definitely want to watch the film. Anyway, I would highly recommend this book, the first story in particular of her childhood with the backdrop of a war and just life continues under horrific circumstances. I know lots of you will probably have already read it, but if you haven't, now is your time. Now is the time. So I have a couple TV favorites, but both of them are like new seasons of things that I've probably already talked about because I love them, which is The Good Place and Big Mouth. I cannot stop raving about Big Mouth to my friends. I just want everyone to watch it. It's on Netflix, bunch of cartoon teenagers, well, tweens, they're like 12, 13, and it's about them going through puberty and there's hormone monsters and there's The Shame Wizard, season two brought in The Shame Wizard. Ah, and then The Good Place, I've no idea what is happening in The Good Place. I am up to date. I think, I don't know which day they're bringing out episodes, but I think I am up to date. And just when you get settled in like one plot, it just kind of goes, and now we're doing this, and now we're doing this. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's go. But I just love it. I love the characters. I love the dynamic between all of them. Janet, oh Janet. And then I just want to mention one film before we get onto some physical things, and that is The Hate You Give. I mentioned this in a favourites video last year when I read the book. Unfortunately, I lost the book at Clapham Junction train station. <sighs> it is about a young girl called Star who is black and she lives in a predominantly black area, but she goes to a predominantly white school and it's about her navigating those two identities that she like has depending on who she's around and, and which world that she's in. And she is a witness to um, her friend getting shot by a white cop. And it's about police brutality, it's about racism, it's about identity. It is so good. Go and watch this film. I was invited to go to the premiere and Angie Thomas, who is the author, was there and I got to meet her afterwards and I was like, you're amazing, thank you. I know that this is probably an overused word when it comes to books and films and stuff, but it's important. This is important. <laughs> Go watch it or read it. Right, we've got some physical things. So in our flat, there will be a flat tour coming out very, very soon. We've got a little area for all of our games, all of our board games, and there is a lot. I think I mentioned this in a favorites video ages, ages ago. Um, but Catan, um, before the Catan that I had was actually a friend's and she took it back, but now I have my own Catan and like last weekend me and Taha basically spent hours on Sunday playing Catan because he'd never played it before and I just love it. It's, su it's such a great game. Go get yourself Catan. It's brilliant. We have so many board games and card games. I don't know whether it would be worth making like a whole video about all of the different ones that we have, but there are also so many that I want to get that I haven't had a chance to play yet, like Dead of Winter or something. That's a favorite of Rowan's and that definitely sounds intriguing to me. And then 
our friends Ariel and Greg came over recently with this game called Munchkin and that was amazing. So I think we're gonna have to purchase Munchkin for ourselves because I definitely wanna play that again. Oh, okay. Oh my God, this is heavy. Ugh. So the other game thing is poker. <laughs> so you may remember from a favorites video a couple of months ago, one of my favorites was the Yogscast Poker Nights. They live streamed them playing poker and it was like sponsored by Pokerist or something. And we were very influenced by that because you know, it was a spawn and their influences. And so me and Dan downloaded Pokerist and we were playing lots of poker online. It was totally free. We weren't spending any real money on it. We spent, we spent real money on this obviously. But yeah, so we were like playing poker online. I feel like we were getting better at playing poker and then we were just like, screw it. And so we've bought ourselves um, a poker set and we played it a bunch when we've had family over and and people over and I love it. I love I love a good poker game. You just just play it with chips. There we go. There's our there's our beautiful poker set. I just love it. It's so heavy. Why is it so heavy? We play Texas Hold'em, obviously. I've never played just like standard poker where you have five cards in your hand. I've no idea how you play that, because that's literally just all about betting and bluffing and no, thank you. Okay, sex toys. <laughs> um, so Love Honey kindly gifted me their sex toy advent calendar. Oh my god. Um, also, I have a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, which means any purchases made through that, I get a small cut off, but uh, you get 15% off the whole of the Love Honey website. So 15% off this bad boy if you want it or just anything else. Um, maybe get yourself a nice Christmas present. I am <laughs> so excited. I think it goes from one to 24. But to be honest, I have so many sex toys and most of them are like try out and if it's not for me, then it just, you can't give that away if you've tried it, you know? Some of these, if I just think not for me, friends hit me up because I'm gonna have a lot of extra toys. Uh, come December. <laughs> come December. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they also gifted me a lingerie one, which I'm also excited about. The next stuff is house stuff, which you will see in the flat tour, but I'm gonna show you like a few sneak peeks of things. So this, dun, 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 this, <laughs> you can see the light reflection. This is our Rick and Morty poster. <laughs> we found this online months and months ago, like way before we moved. And it was just like a thing that we're like, we definitely want that in the flat. It's a poster of the Rick's Must Be Crazy episode. This is like the world that Rick has that he's created to run his car engine. And then they created that world and then they created that world and there's Morty. It is done by this artist called Taylor Rose Makes Art. And she's very talented. Her website is very cool. And then the other print artwork thing I want to show you, I got on Etsy. <laughs> And it's a lot, it's a lot bigger. It is, oh God, it is a map of Westeros, but if it were like a metro system or if Westeros had the underground, this is like the wall, these are all, oh God. <laughs> I'm obsessed, here's Winterfell, you know, it's got the North, <laughs> the Iron Islands. Look, you can even connect to the Iron Islands. It, you know, it connects you to Dragonstone. Just go, go on the tube right under the, the, the sea. It's great. This incredible orange frame. I bought a whole bunch of colored frames online because I love color. And a lot of my friends were <laughs> taking the piss out of me because I got my walking stick on walkingsticks.co.uk. And they're just like, do you just like go to the URL of the thing you're looking for? And I'm like, yes, I do. Um, Cause these frames I got from frames.co.uk. <laughs> What can I say? What can I say? Um, they're great, these frames are great. <laughs> I just Google what I'm looking for and then the top URL comes up and I'm like, that'll do, that'll do. Right, that is it from my October favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments things that you've been enjoying this month, things that I should check out. Killing Eve is on my list, do not worry, I will watch Killing Eve. We just got our TV license. So BBC iPlayer, here I come. If Killing Eve is not in my November favorites, either didn't like it, but I can't see that happening, or um, I need a slap on the wrist because I didn't get around to watching it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>